Um, okay, cool. So in this last video, we actually um, compressed Rochelle's vocal a little bit, um, smoothed out some of the peaks. She already sang it beautifully, so we didn't need to do much at all. But we didn't actually add a bus end to it and uh, get any reverb on that track. So we also want to do that with the control surface. And luckily, it's just as easy to add a bus end or a virtual instrument to a track as it was to add a plug-in like we did earlier. So I've got the track selected already. We're looking at inserts already on the mix, so I'll just go ahead and select aux, which is bus sends. Now I see that the vocal already has a hall send, but it, I also want to send it to this plate reverb that I have set up. And so to do that, we'll go ahead and hit these same two buttons. Now, they're blinking at me. I see that the A bus send slot has hall on it, but B, C, D, E, the rest of them are all open. So we'll select B and I'll select no send, output, bus, obviously we want bus here so we're going to select bus and then I'll go over to this plate stereo send. This green light comes on, you see on the uh, Pro Tools track, it's already showed up, right? And I can instantly start controlling it. Now, exiting configure mode, here's my plate, we can go ahead and turn that up. So let's go ahead and press play, solo that out. She doesn't need much. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And you know, the thing about that is, as I'm doing this, I actually want to adjust the hall and the plate, which are her two reverb sends, at the same time. And so, if I wanted to do that, I can do it with these knobs right here. I could also do it with the um, faders, because yet another new Yukon feature that is specific to the artist mix is flipping to faders. So anything that I have showing up on my knobs here, whether it be plug-in parameters or virtual instrument parameters or bus sends in this case, um, I can get them down to the faders by holding down the shift button and hitting this channel button. Blue font says flip. And now that I've done that, I can make her swim if I want to, which, you know, like I said, she doesn't need that. Let's just get a nice and good blend between a nice deep hall and kind of a more shrill plate reverb, and that's it. That's all we needed to do. Real easy to start balancing um, your bus end levels or virtual instrument parameters or whatever you'd want to do. And this is also great to use flip to faders when you're writing automation um, for plugins or VIs. So definitely use that. So thank you very much.